cut across to Parliament where uh, the Air India disinvestment is being talked about. It's not the solution. Apart from dis dis disinvestment plan, what plans you have to meet the uh, contingency? Great. Mantriji. The member is referring to a press report which uh, appeared yesterday. Uh, I have no doubt as to where the press report has uh, uh, emanated from. Uh, the, uh, it is customary in situations like this for employees and others who, have, uh, who are stakeholders in the process to put pressure on the government. Let me just tell the Honourable Member that we have increased the Air India profitability uh, it's by 7 crores in revenue per day. We are doing all that we can. Uh, yes, the Honourable Member is right. There is an overall uh, debt of approximately 59,000 crores. When an attempt was made to, dis, uh, di, uh, to do privatisation last time, it was proposed to retire 29,000 crores into a special purpose vehicle. Now when the uh, alternate uh, Air India alternate uh, mechanism is established, we will take a view on these and I would not at this point of time worry too much about whether Air India has money to pay salaries after October. After all, Air India is a viable uh, airline. It has some prize assets. And when we go for disinvestment, we will also take care of this. But as I said, that press report was motivated in order to put right. pressure on the government right. uh, to, in order not to disinvest. Sir, I know the Air State question, sir. When the government has decided to disinvest Air India, there are assets in Mumbai, particularly earlier Air India's headquarter, Nirman Point, and there is an offer from Maharashtra government to buy that uh, property. If the government is wanted to be, whether you can consider this right. proposal. Sir, Air India, Air India, in and of itself and many of its uh, operational uh, assets are really very, very uh, prize assets and the headquarters at Nariman Point is a case in point. Uh, Air India also has, as I mentioned, it flies to 80 destinations within India. It has international routes. It's flying to 40 destinations. It is the only flag carrier. When we decide on the final structure About of Maharashtra, the disinvestment, yes, yes. But whether it is to Maharashtra government or to the highest bidder, those are not questions which the minister can answer on the floor of the parliament. This will be decisions taken by the alternate mechanism when we are in the heart of the privatization process. One, two, three, one, two, eight, question. Okay, sir. Mantriji. A, table, a statement is laid on the table of the house, sir. Mantriji. Uh, आक्रिस्ट करना मेरा प्रश्न यह है कि जो सांसदों को आवास मिलता है उसमें सीपीडब्ल्यूडी का जो काम वेल देयर यू गो दैट्स एविएशन मिनिस्टर हरदीप पुरी इन पार्लियामेंट आंसरिंग क्वेश्चंस ऑन एयर इंडिया यू नो द गवर्नमेंट प्रेसिंग अहेड विद द डिसइन्वेस्टमेंट ऑन अ डे when reports suggested that the airline will not be able to pay salaries beyond October. Hardeep Puri saying that's all motivated in nature. The other big headline, of course, being it seems as the government will take a call on whether more than 29,000 crore rupees of debt needs to be carved out. Total debt of almost 60,000 crores. You just heard the aviation minister say that for disinvestment purposes, maybe more could be taken out so that there are more suitors in line.